But what about the role of Pogba in the side, as in where he fits in? Because you brought up his stats from this season. I'm going to throw in some stats about Thiago because he's getting a lot of praise. Last year, for Bayern Munich, he played 39 games. He got three goals and two assists. Just in the league, it was three goals and zero assists. Does that tell you anything? Am I being unfair to compare them in that sense? Because they're both technically very gifted. Yeah, but Thiago... Yeah, Oh, sorry, go on, Lewis, you speak. You no, speak. Go, no, no, go on, go on, go on. No, I was going to say, the thing with Thiago is Thiago wasn't brought in to score goals. I mean, he was there to open the, the you know, the key master, and you could see that with some of the passes he makes. He makes blind passes. He'll find a player who sometimes it looks like the player is surprised that he's found him. Um, he wasn't there. I mean, he has had a couple of shots in today's game, but he wasn't there to bring goals into the uh, into the equation. Whereas Paul Pogba, I would argue, when he was brought to Manchester United, he was going to be a goal scorer, an assist, uh, just generally an all-round threat. And the one thing I would say about the second half, when he changed position, and we can see that in the highlights, he ended up further forward and he becomes more dangerous. Um, the question would have to be, why does... Oli allow him to play so deep to start with and then become the threat at the end. Arguably a success, uh, a, form, a formula that's worked so far because Manchester United, as you said, statistically have been very good in the last few minutes, last 15 minutes of games. Louis, the pogba Thiago yeah. issue I just brought up, what do you think? Yeah, I think they're two different players. Um, on, on, on the same way, you always have to analyse uh, what type of players you have around. And the, the players that he had around uh, Thiago was different than the, 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 the one that uh, Man United uh, Paul Pogba had. I mean, like, uh, a, a team who is, like, full of confidence and, like, playing for Champions League, you know, you, you, you have to actually understand that. It's a different, different game. And what Paul, from the last, maybe, uh, previous uh, seasons, had a team was like really like like struggling confidence wise tactically like a, a fitness I mean like was for me I couldn't understand so trying to play to a, to a side like this and having all the actual let's say like a, you play like a uh, with a, ye a yellow jersey in some way like everyone is like on your back asking you to score to do everything and and hopefully it was uh, actually uh, helped by the introduction of Bruno. And this is where I think at some moments we will see that Paul Pogba can actually defend, go deep, help the, the, the teams, and then bombard forwards. And this is what uh, actual McTominay and Fred can allow. And this is the combination. We need to really find the players around to actually let some like magic player like him to express himself. And, and this is what I think my United is trying to find the balance. It's not, it's not totally fine yet, but I think we, we've seen some, some, some really big improvements. Uh, I still think that if Pogba and, and Bruno and the, the forwards that they pick find a really click, you, you see, like, uh, after 20 minutes, they, they can do, you know, unbelievable things. The thing is consistency. I'm not sure that they find it. And sometimes uh, Pogba, they just don't know where to play. This might be a slightly unfair question, but Louis, you would watch uh, the French national team play a lot closer than uh, Jamo and myself. I mean, you wore Les Bleus jersey during your career. Does he play better for France than Manchester United? Yeah, it, again, it's the same point. I mean, it depends on the players you have around you. When you have a Conte that's going to defend, that's going to actually run forward, not lose one ball, uh, give you the space to actually, like, you, you can run forward. I'm telling you, Conte will, will cover. And, and he has, like, I would think, like, more kind of, uh, like, ability for some reason to drive the ball as well. Uh, than the, the Fred and Maxumi they combine sometimes. So I just I, I just find that the, the the French team is a French team that are in full confidence. They know where to run, and this is giving you one second to to do whatever you you, you have as like quality was to express it. The, those like previous years, all the players of United didn't have the, the time. They were under pressure every time. You know, matter if he was the master, you could feel like you press him, you, you're gonna get the ball in some way. You know. And there is like now players in and around the, that field who is able to, to take the ball under pressure. And this is giving the time to Marshall to give the good runs and, and, and all that. So it's a total difference. Pogba with a team with full of players, full of confidence than uh, Pogba without uh, that players around. And let's not forget who the world champions in football.